Longtime games industry executive Peter Moore has just announced that he's going to be joining Unity as part of their sports and live entertainment division. Also, the Game Developers Conference is going to be hosting an online event this March, which you can join for free. So today we're going to be talking about those things. But before we do that, I would just like to say that the Unity Asset Store is hosting a really nice sale right now where you can purchase any of the assets from the publisher Nature of Manufacture for 50% off. They have a lot of really beautiful assets for adding some realistic nature elements to your game. Also, the Lava and Volcano Environment 2019 Asset Pack is available for you for free using the code LAVAFREE2021 at checkout. And make sure you act quickly because the sale actually ends tonight, January 22nd at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time. So if you are watching this video on the day it goes live, you only have a couple more hours to take advantage of this awesome sale. I should mention that I'm an affiliate of the Unity asset store so if you purchase anything using any of the links in the description below I may receive a small portion of that sale so this is a good way for you to get some assets at a discounted price as well as support to the Turbo Mix Games YouTube channel but at the very least head over to the Unity asset store to check out what they have to offer again they have some really cool asset packs and make sure you do pick up that free lava and volcano environment pack using the code lavafree2021 at your checkout and of course if you did enjoy today's video I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about video game development. Of course, if you do have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, you can always leave those down in the comment section below. Now, many of you may recognize Peter Moore because he's held some high-level and public-facing positions at companies like Sega, Microsoft, and Electronic Arts. He was even parodied in a South Park episode back in 2011 for his role at EA Sports. Well, boys, this has been real educational and all, but now let's part with that old EA Sports saying, Get the f*** out of my building. More recently, between 2017 and 2020, he was the CEO of Liverpool Football Club. That's soccer for all my fellow Americans. And just the other day, he announced that he's returning to the games industry with Unity as the senior vice president and general manager of their sports and live entertainment division. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this division entails because I haven't actually heard of this before. So I'm not sure if this is a new thing that they're um, introducing with Peter at the helm. But at first, I thought it was something maybe related to esports or something like that but the more that I've kind of thought about it it seems to be more related to actual live sports or live entertainment events because if you've been following the unity game engine for a little while you'll know that the unity game engine is more than just a game engine they're starting to break into more industries uh, like the automotive or construction industries because there's a lot of things that you can build with unity as an application that have you know wide implications across many different industries. So to me, this seems like they may be bringing some more interactive components to some of these live sporting and entertainment events, which I do think can be really cool. Um, you know, maybe there are some virtual reality or augmented reality applications for these types of things. I know that some live sporting events already have like VR cameras set up and you can basically um, jump into any of these live events from the comfort of your own home and essentially feel like you're there live at the sporting event if you have one of these VR headsets on. And I definitely think that this makes a whole lot of sense, especially with kind of the current state of things when most people are kind of stuck at home anyways, that them essentially being able to virtually attend some of these live events with essentially like, you know, the best seats in the house is something that certainly a lot of people would be willing to participate in. And furthermore, they can bring some sort of interactive components to these live events to make the people feel like they're more a part of it. Now, all this sounds very interesting, but I don't think it affects us game developers really all that much right now. It's definitely something that we'll be keeping an eye on over the coming months. But I do think that it's good that Unity is expanding into all these different industries because for us game developers who are pretty experienced within the Unity game engine, this means that there are going to be a lot of opportunities for us to use our skills outside of the games industry if that's something that we want to do. Also, it should be noted that during the time that Peter Moore was the head of EA Sports, the CEO of Electronic Arts was one John Riccatello. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because John Riccatello is currently the CEO of Unity. So it's pretty clear they have already have a pretty good working relationship built up so I do sense good things to come from this. So anyways, let me know what you think of Peter Moore joining Unity down in the comments section below. And the other piece of news that I want to touch on is GDC, the Game Developers Conference. So normally over the past 35 years, the Game Developers Conference has been an in-person event that has been held in March. 
However, due to certain circumstances that make live events rather difficult in these times, GDC is hosting a special showcase during the week of March 15th when GDC would normally be happening in person. And this special showcase will feature talks from previous GDC events with interactions from speakers. So for example, there's a talk from GDC 2020 called Crafting a Tiny Open World based off of the game A Short Hike. And basically they're going to be rebroadcasting this event live and during that, the game's creator, Adam Robinson Yu, is going to be interacting with the people live. So, you know, he'll be kind of um, there to answer questions and maybe give some extra commentary on some of the things from his talk. They're also going to be holding some live Q&A events. So there's one from Gavin Moore, who's the creative director of Demon Souls. So you can basically submit some questions to him about his experience in the games industry, and he'll be answering those. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, make sure you are registered for the event so you can check out these sessions along with many other live sessions during the week of March 15th. And if you do register before February 5th, you will get one month free access to the GDC Vault that features talks from GDC events um, over the past couple decades. And so that's just gonna be kind of like a little teaser, a little warm up for um, a, a more full, hopefully, event uh, coming in June of this year. So they say it's going to be kind of a hybrid event with some in-person components at the Moscone Center in San Francisco, as well as some online stuff. Um, so if things go well, I'm really hoping to attend that event in person as I try to attend the GDCs in person as many years um, as I can. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Once again, let me know what you think of Peter Moore joining Unity down in the comments section below. Is this a good thing for Unity? Is it going to change anything for us game developers? Let me know if you have any thoughts on that, as well as let me know if you do plan on joining this GDC showcase event coming up in March here, and hopefully even the in-person event later on this summer. And don't forget to check out the Nature Manufacture sale. You only have a couple more hours to take advantage of this sale if you're watching this video on the day it goes live. Again, all assets from this publisher are available for 50% off, and you can also get the Lava and Volcano Pack available completely for free with the code LAVAFREE2021. Anyways, if you did enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about video game development. And hey, if you know anyone who might find this video interesting, feel free to share it with them as well. If you do have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, you can always leave those down in the comment section below. But I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.